So how's it going everybody? Oddman105, aka the Odd One here, and this is a full walkthrough of the Clucking Bell Farm Raid Finale using the Stealth Approach. Now in my opinion, the Stealth Approach to the Clucking Bell Farm Raid Finale is the easiest of the two approaches because clearing the Clucking Bell Factory of any and all cartel members will prevent them from respawning, literally giving you free run of the entire factory. Whereas if you go in guns blazing, the cartel will continue to spawn and pursue you. So with all of that that stuff out of the way, let's begin. Now, although there will be some edits throughout this walkthrough, the majority of the video taken from inside the factory will be largely unedited. That way you guys can see exactly where and how I timed my shots to murk out the cartel members. Remember that the timing of your shots is very important for avoiding detection and you guys will see that throughout this video. So first, murk out these three cartel that are in this warehouse loading dock area. Now at this point, you can shoot the circuit breaker here on the wall to access the dumpster area where your excess weapons and equipment loadouts are stored. Now you can also change your weapons loadout and equipment loadout if you want. I chose to change both because specifically I wanted the military weapons loadout since the suppressed shotgun hits like a tank and you need to ensure that you're murking out these cartel with one shot. Next, make your way to the coke storage areas. Now take out this panel to open the shutter doors, but be careful. This next hallway is full of cartel members. Now typically what I'd like to do is wait until this one cartel member who walks the entire length of this hallway turns around, heads back down the hallway and has his back to me, at which point I'll murk him out, then take out the other three cartel that are immediately in front of me. Remember, time your shots carefully. Once you've murked out everyone inside the coke lockup, grab all four stacks of the Coco GTFO, then head over to the second coke lockup.
place is barely functioning as a chicken factory. One would assume they'd have more cook and bell staff to keep up appearances, but I underestimated just how old criminals can be once they have the police in their pocket. Now upon entering the second lockup, you'll be searching for two stashes of the old cocoa in the clucking bell marked crates. So grab that crowbar sitting on top of those pallets and begin cracking open the crates. The location of the cocoa in the crates is randomized, so you'll more than likely need to search all four until you find them. Now, on your way to the office, take some extra time to search for the office keys, which are usually located in one of two areas. I got lucky since the keys were located on this table right in front of me as I was on my way to the office. Now, if you're running stealth, you'll need the keys to access the office in order to avoid sounding the alarm. You do have the option of shooting the door lock to access the office, but doing so will sound the alarm and blow your cover. So just something to keep in mind. Okay, so at this point you've murked out all the cartel in the Clucking Bell factory, so you now have free access to go anywhere in the factory completely undetected. Okay, next access the office and hack the computer. Now to get the office safes combinations, you'll need to scan three of the four office computers that are located out on the factory floor.
Okay, so you've got the safe's contents, time to GTFO. Now make a beeline toward your getaway car. Don't focus on the cartel that much. If they're in your way, murk them out, but otherwise get to your getaway car. Now, once you're in your getaway car, get on the railroad tracks and head south. Stay off the main roads. This is by far the best way to lose wanted stars. Now, once you're down to three wanted stars, you can call up a personal vehicle. So I recommend that you ditch the getaway car and if you own one, call your armored Kuduma and head south toward the mountains. But again, stay off the roads. And just like that, the cops are gone. So at this point, deliver the goods to Vincent's lockup, and that's it. The Clucking Bell Farm Raid on full stealth mode is a wrap. And guys, that's pretty much it. So sound off down in the comments below and let's discuss your approach to completing the Clucking Bell Farm Raid, whether you win in guns blazing or full stealth. And let's talk about it down in the comments. And with that being said, this video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, aka The Odd One. And if you guys found this video informative, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a few likes while you're here, and hey, don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe, and remember, don't just start the fire, bring the smoke, and take care out there.